spies. Cornucopia. Try instead of train. Right, we'll take Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back into the buzz. I'll be your host today, Ethan Spazarski. To my left, my panelman, Tyler Zeman, Dean Shazer, and Ryan Martin. And gentlemen, we're going to just kick it off, get right into it. Easter break is right around the corner. And I know we just came back from a spring break a little bit ago, not too long ago, but a break is never, it's never going to be turned down by a college student. So, gentlemen, what are your plans right now for Easter break? Well, well, I'll start here to make it Go simple ahead, because you guys clearly aren't <laughs> eager. Um, Thursday, I'm kicking it off because right after classes, since we don't have class Friday, kicking it off, I'm going to Dave and Buster's with some of my buddies. And I, I believe there's a deal. It's 23 bucks for all you can play and all you can eat wings. So that should be a fun time. Um, and then Friday, I'm going golfing in the a.m. Saturday's my chill day. Might make, might make some money, work at the uh, bar restaurant I work at. And then Sunday's Easter. Sounds like a nice, uh, well, nice little break there, but um, you guys, you guys aren't fast. My, mine's not really like that actually. I'm, I'm actually gonna stay at the Woo for uh, the whole weekend, not going back Aww. to New York. I'll be all alone. It's not true actually. I'll have, I'll have my friend Stration here because he's not going home either. Um, but yeah, you know, I'll, uh, Thursday I'll be in my room doing nothing. Friday I'll be in my room doing nothing. Saturday I'll be in my room doing nothing since everybody's going home too. Um, but yeah, it'll be a fun, fun week, weekend. I mean, at least you'll have a lot of alone yeah. time. You know, you can have oh. some time to reset, right? I, I need to do a lot of work off. too, bro. I don't want to cut okay. you off. So. No, no, you can go ahead. If you, do you want a home-cooked meal leftovers for Monday? Home-cooked meal leftovers. Would you like a plate? Sure. All right. That I'll make sure good. to put that on my agenda. That sounds really good. Thank Pretty you, man. And he's, he's serious. He brings home some good That's food. That's awesome. His, Dean, his, he's got the hookup. The, awesome. the Shazer family <laughs> is notorious for some amazing food. So yeah. I promise it's worth your while. Yeah. Zeman. As for me, no, um, <laughs> Friday, I'll uh, be at my pap's house. He makes his infamous uh, homemade pizza. So we'll enjoy that on Good Friday. And then Saturday, really just relaxing, not doing much. Sunday, go to my uh, grandparents where we'll celebrate Easter Sunday. And then Monday, unfortunately, I have a night class I have to come back for. So um, oh, I'll be back too. for night class on Monday. <laughs> but it should be an, a nice, relaxing three day weekend. I agree. Well, sounds lovely. Uh, Easter, you know, it's, it's one of the most important holidays that we celebrate uh, nationwide, at least. And um, to be fair, it's not. It's not one of my favorite, but the meal, the meal is is one of my favorites. I'll take I'll take Christmas and Thanksgiving over Easter just because I see more family, in that sense. More family comes around during the winter holidays, but the food on Easter, the cold ham and the celery sticks, the the potato salad, um, it's it's one I could die for. An Easter Easter Sunday meal. You said cold ham, cold ham. I don't know if I agree with that. What? No, you guys don't. No, no. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I eat cold ham the day next day. When you have Easter know, Sunday, like an Easter Sunday meal, it's going to be, first of all, it's going to be the honey baked ham. Okay. 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 It's got to be the honey baked ham. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. But it's got to be warm. The, the cold ham is best, like, as leftovers. I when you pull it out of the fridge, over there. you're trying to have, like, you know, it's some like, leftovers. That's where the cold ham comes into play. Like, when you want that, when you want that Easter Sunday you, meal, it's cool gotta be warm. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, sure, help sure. me out here. No, I I completely agree. You gotta let you gotta let it bake. You you got those those pineapple rings on it too. Get some of that glaze, that mm -hmm. nice juice going on it. I completely agree with Tyler's even. That's now, my Baldwin brother. That's right a Baldwin there. brother yeah. right there. That's a Baldwin blood right there. <laughs> yeah. No, but for I mean for me, break kind of consists the same. I I'll, I'll probably leave Thursday night, get home Friday, do absolutely nothing, like Ryan Martin. Then come Saturday, I got all day plans, catching up with some friends. I didn't actually see anybody during my spring break or Christmas break. I didn't really hang out with anybody. Mm. 
I've literally worked. Yeah, so you worked a lot. Though. I worked a lot. So I'm really excited to see some friends that I've been seeing since high school. And then come Sunday, the Easter celebration, I'm definitely going to gain 20 pounds. That's the goal. <laughs> uh, I mean, that that's just what I do. And then Judgment Monday, be back here at Wu in the afternoon for teachers uh, assisting for a night class and then actually being here for a night class. So, uh, uh, Just to conclude everything, I'd say my weekend sounds the most interesting, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know, man. Mine, put anything mine was pretty guys. cool. Yeah, yeah I might have to know. go with Martin. I think he, I doesn't, he, he go A, doesn't have to travel. I don't have anybody to he, bother me. He, he B, know? doesn't have Straight. any. Man, yeah, you're you the know. bother, though. Shoot, you're man. The... You're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. It's not like you have the room to yourself. No, like he's it's still not. there. No. I'll so. kick him out. I'll kick him out. Kick him out? Where yeah. are you going to kick him out to? Third floor. Third the floor. Curb. <laughs> the curb. Yeah. The curb. So, real quick. Does anyone, I mean, with the, we talked about the Easter break plans, just a real quick side. Does anyone have a favorite Easter memory so far? We talked about, like, the break and what it brings for us now, but what about the then? Hmm. My favorite Easter memory. Favorite Easter memory. I have to say uh, going to the retirement homes and uh, getting the Easter egg hunt there. Those were always great, you know. So many, so many people to show up. So exciting to get the, all those eggs. Oh, I enjoyed getting the baskets full of candy. That's what I got. We came, we did, we go to church, come back, Easter egg hunt, but the Easter egg hunt concluded with the the, the basket. So like, we got basket full of candy, <laughs> mad dope. Tyler, <laughs> I don't know why Dean's laughing, but it's making me laugh. But um, <laughs> my favorite Easter memory probably. I mean, you could go with the the simple Easter egg hunt on Easter Sunday. I'd probably get, I'd probably say my favorite Easter memory is not actually on Easter. It's probably Good Friday when I go to my paps and eat pizza. That's that's probably what it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your favorite memory, funny? <laughs> you crying? Are you crying? Easter <laughs> is filled with a lot of great <laughs> memories, and I just. Oh my god. It's getting hot. It's All right. It's All right. It's we're gonna it's we're gonna crying. now wrap it up here from our first segment. We're gonna collect ourselves, but when we come back from this short little break, we're gonna talk about candy, you know, some of our favorite candies of come Easter time, Easter festive candies. When we come back, don't go anywhere. Sports information and athletic communication majors here at Waynesburg University take on the responsibilities of the pros. As a sports information athletic communication major, you'll take on tasks such as talking to coaches, public address announcing, tracking and spotting live stats, as well as running those stats to the TV and radio announcers and keeping the crowd occupied with the live video board. We have alum currently working for the Washington Wild Things, Akron Rubber Ducks, the Miami Dolphins, and numerous Division I programs. So what are you waiting for? Come here and join us at Woo. Hello, everybody. Welcome back in here. Our next segment, as promised earlier, is going to be discussing that Easter candy. So the sweet treat, sweet tooth segment is here, gentlemen. Now, for me, it's easy because all I eat is candy, especially back when I was a kid. Candy was number one. I may or, I'm surprised that I'm not restricted to hold back from eating any candy. But what is everyone here's favorite candy for Easter time? You could go all time, but Easter right now. For me, it's simple. And I think there's really only one choice here. You have the S tier of all Easter candy, and that is the Reese's egg. Not a Reese's cup. It is the Reese's egg. It's in the shape of an egg. It's iconic to Easter. And quite frankly, if it's not in an Easter basket come Easter morning, it's pretty upsetting. I mean, you need an Easter uh, Reese's Easter egg in your basket. I mean, it's peanut butter heaven, first of all, and it's chocolate. The two things, I mean, when paired together, it's the best thing ever. I agree. I totally agree with that. That's like, that's my favorite candy for Easter. Um, I don't know if it's like the, the smoother chocolate, but I just feel like it's better than the cups. I don't know why, but it, he's, he's on to something right there. Dude, I it's got to be like a ratio or them. something to oh, peanut yeah, butter to chocolate. It's like, it or something because it's, it's just so much better than the cups. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you why, but for some reason, they just taste better and they're just so much more, so much enjoyable, which is what I would say. 
the peep. You oh. can put it. You can you can eat it stale. You can eat them cold. You can eat them hot. You can eat them fresh right out of the package. The peep is the number one Easter candy, whether it's loved or not. It's the most most famous candy of all time. When you think of Easter, you think of peeps. You see peeps in every basket, and they either get eaten or they don't. You either love them or you hate them. I happen to love them. Give me the peep. Well, that makes one of you, Dean. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I unfortunately did not have the privilege to be able to eat peanut butter growing up because I, uh, I had a family member who was very allergic to peanut butter. Uh, so I, up until this year, freshman year of college, could not tell you a single thing about peanut butter. I agree. I do love Reese's a lot. However, to me, it's not the S tier. I'd put it A tier. I wouldn't put it S tier. Complete transparency to my fellow the, panel. Then what's S tier for you, Stas? For me, it's it's hard because I like s- so much candy. Like I could eat, I mean, I could eat the Mike and Ike's all day, it's especially ridiculous. like the fruit, like the tropical ones. Okay. The je- uh, some jelly beans, like not the Jelly Belly, not like the weird ones, like the weird flavor ones, like regular jelly beans, no fla- no f- crazy flavoring to it, just those. Those are fire. Peeps are indeed fire. Do love peeps. Yeah, I, I, I want to. Do you have a point? Oh, oh, well, I just wanted to, before making my point, I just wanted to start off by saying apologize. I apologize for my unprofessionalism in the last segment. But now back to the professional unprofessionalism. Um, I prefer talking about food because I never really had a big sweet tooth. But in terms of talking sweet tooth, I'm going to talk desserts. And if my grandmother doesn't have that lemon meringue pie, on the table around 6, 6.30 p.m. on Sunday, I will be disappointed. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Lemon meringue pie is my number one sweet pie. treat. So if it's served I mean, before like 6 pie. or 6.30, like it's not? Well, Z, well Tyler Zeman, we eat dinner, you suppose, <laughs> okay. uh, around 4, 4.30. Okay. Uh, it's two a little hour, early. Two-hour grace period. There's okay. going to be some baseball on. They play sure. baseball sure. on Easter, correct? Probably. Because um, yes. they, they, they play it on Mother's day. and Father's Day. I just get my Sundays Isn't there March up. Madness on Easter, too? Nope. Oh, there's not? Uh, there might no, be. I, I forgot. I think I think there is. I forgot yeah. games starting oh, yeah. Thursday. Yeah, because you got the Sweet 16 Thursday, Friday, and uh-huh. then the Elite well, 8 Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, we'll Sunday. see. There we go. No, but as go long ahead. as there's sports, I think we could you agree. As long your, as there's no, no, sports point's on, point's though. Okay, okay. Let me okay. That's the key thing, especially for us. As long as there's sports on, yeah. I could be happy. I'll watch yeah. baseball because, I mean, it's the start of new year. You definitely want to watch baseball. March Madness is is it. March is madness. We sleep in May. You ruined it. All right. So, what does Clemson? What relevance does Clemson have to do with this? Well, you see, Dean, they're orange, and Reese's uh, peanut butter cups. Exactly. They're orange. Reese's are the best. Also, jelly beans are kind of overrated. They're not good. I agree with that. Who invited? No, no, no. I I actually agree with that. Because here's the thing: growing up, I never really liked a lot of like the fruit flavored stuff. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not like a big like fan of that. I will say, as I've gotten older, jelly beans have grown on me. Like I, I appreciate a good jelly bean. They're about but C-tier. But they're not like, yeah, they're not. Yeah. I would not, let I'm not you throwing them an S. Like, I'm not selling you. my, my no. tier list because of the jelly bean. You no. know, I'm not. I'd let you get your point across, and I, I think you already <laughs> Just, did, but you made several points there. So which okay. side are you on? Pick a side. I mean, as of right are you now, a jelly bean or are you as of right now, I just put them in the, the simple mid category. Exactly. I put them right in the middle. Like, C at the lowest, B at the highest on a good day. I mean, you can appreciate face, them. But it's true. You can appreciate them, but there's better stuff out there. Mm-hmm. The I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A yeah. tier. Wait. Hold on. Time it's out. like the sixth guy off the bench. You know, like <laughs> exactly. he's not your star. There's no way. Like, he can way. be great for you. <laughs> no but he, way, but, bro. <laughs> if anything, all right. Hold on. He's time. in your starting five, and there's no doubt about it. And Sarah's candy, by the way, okay. is the king of chocolate since a Pittsburgh. Thing. Yes, um, we agree on that. Uh, it's it better pretty, than Reese's. Pretty good chocolate. Sure, yeah. yeah sure. But uh, haven't hold really hide it a lot. Hold on. Whoa, so whoa. you want my starting five? No. Is that what you no. were asking me? No, hold on. Wait, Reese's no, we're addressing Reese's. something okay, real quick. We're ahead, addressing something real quick to a comment made. Mid-tier. When you think candy on Easter, yep. if the jelly bean, jelly beans literally your LeBron James. Sure, you can think of the jelly, jelly bean beans, is your starter. It may not be always liked and loved and appreciated by all, like LeBron, but it's your number one candy, though. I don't like you don't have to like them, but it's stuff. When you think of candy, you open up like you open up the Easter eggs. There's candy. There's jelly beans. I'm disappointed if I get jelly beans. Yeah, I'm disappointed yeah. if I see <laughs> you. So yeah. it's I equal. Jelly beans but seriously, egg. disappointed. Disappointed. That's just a disgusting word to describe oh, yes, a grade it? A 
tier. Great no, no, no. Oh if I go over no, 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 my no, grandparents' no. The house and they're you sitting in a container these. on the table, if they're sitting on a container on the table, uh-huh. that's great. I'll enjoy them. You know, uh-huh. you can just walk by, maybe grab a handful. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ooh. But if, if they're in my basket, I'm I like, just you know, realized. no offense, but there could have been more here. I just you know, realized. There is. I do have a favorite candy, S tier. Have any of you had mini eggs before? Oh, Cadbury mini eggs. Oh. Mini eggs are the greatest. Okay. I'll okay. hold that to my grave. Okay. The chocolate. That's. I got you. All right. I, I ju- it just eclipsed me because I just ate a whole bag of myself back at home when I was <laughs> you, during break. So I just realized. That's a fair pick. No, yeah, that's a fair pick. I can Perales. respect that. Non Perales, the little chocolate with the white little dot sprinkles on them. I can't say I have. Oh. Yeah. They're about no. this big. Mm. About the size of an eyeball. All right, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? You know what? That I think the, so. That conversation you know. took a bit of a turn, but I appreciate I where it ended. Right <laughs> I appreciate where that conversation ended, and I think that's the perfect way to move us into our final segment of the day, which is going to be the legendary Easter hunt. Not just any Easter hunt. Not any. Not just a random the Easter hunt presented by the Buzz. Make sure to stay tuned. You won't want to miss this. Right after a quick break. You're listening to WCYJ FM, 99.5 The Hive. Your home for everything Waynesburg. Our campus radio station gives students like you a chance to work in live studio environment without ever leaving Waynesburg. WCYJ FM has specialty shows, sports recaps, and updates, weather, and live coverage of your Yellow Jackets. Tune in at 99.5 The Hive or online at waynesburg.edu slash listen. Welcome to the hunt. It's a game show that we have never even tried on WCTV before, and something that, as I thought of yesterday, very highly anticipated. And as you can see here, our four guys, Tyler Zeman, Ryan Martin, Dean Chaser, Ethan Spazarski. There are eggs hidden all over the fourth floor. We're talking little ones, big ones, and the golden one. The little ones are worth one point, the large ones, well, large ones, excuse me, are only two, <coughs> two points. And the golden egg, which is hidden very well, is the fifth one. It's five points, excuse me. Mm-hmm. You will have 10 minutes to find as many eggs as you can. In that 10 minute time frame, you will have a partner cameraman. We are down to 4K, so we're going to have to use a phone. Just how life goes. So someone is going to be paired with a cameraman. Your cameraman can assist you but cannot tell you exactly where the egg is. They could be like, oh, maybe let's go this way. Maybe this way, but they cannot point it out and help you in any way, shape, or form. They're your partner, but they cannot assist you in that way. So regardless, we're going to have a little pep talk between our four panelists and get rolling. Okay, Sparky, are you ready for Easter egg hunting? I'll be real. I'm terrified. Um, I, I think I'm probably the worst finder of all the four people, but I, I need a pep talk though. I think I need that pep talk. You need that pep talk? I need that pep talk. Well, listen, as one of the only, as one of the greats, Lanny Fateri has always told me, is to always go in with a positive mindset and you're going to kill this. You're going to get all those eggs. What are you going to do? Get all the eggs. You're going to get all those eggs. You are get right. Get all the eggs. Get Let's all go. the eggs. Get all the eggs. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's do Let's it. Let's go. I only got, I only got a little bit to say, Dean. LGD, let's go, Dean. Yeah, that's uh, that's all I needed for this little pep talk. Um, I'm ready to find some Easter eggs, ready to be on the prowl, on the hunt. Um, they call me the predator. All right, so why chocolate milk? That's um, my question. Well, I had a 32 pack, drank pretty quickly. Only box I currently have, actually. So we're gonna we're gonna get hyped. We need a lot of, and I mean, this is a lot of space right here. You see all this? That's a lot of eggs I can get and win. You better right? get a lot of eggs, buddy. I'm gonna fill this whole thing up. I hid basically all of them. So you, see these? Oh. you better get a lot. Let's go! Come on! All right, come on. I, could, I mean, I'm gonna find this golden egg, and it's, it's gonna be putting me over the top. I mean, I'm gonna get every single egg. I'm not gonna miss a single egg. All right, you see all this? That's some empty room. We're gonna get it. Look at, that. look at that. Look at that yeah. space. Yeah, that's oh space. Oh my gosh. All right. We got to win. W's. 
listen, man, we're just going to lock in. We're just going to find these yeah. eggs. I'm not going to provide much help, but you're going to do it. I, I have full faith in you. Here's you're going to do thing. it. Here's the thing. <laughs> we're taking the thinking out of it. It's really a field game. If you're quiet, the eggs will speak to you. We're going to look high. We're going to look low. And we're going to look great doing it. Also, they don't know yet, but we're starting up one. <laughs> hey, envision yourself getting an egg. That's what you're going to do today. Yeah, we're going to be great. Welcome. Time has come, gentlemen. You all have 10 minutes on your timers, except Dink, but that's regardless. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Or Who got Chaka? Who got? In five Ooga, seconds, Ooga. you will search the whole floor and stick with your camera guy. Find as many eggs as you can in 10 minutes. You guys ready? All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. So since I already got a sneak peek, I'm going to go right here for this egg. Then you're gonna follow me around because I think I know where the gold is. You must walk the front. I think I have an idea of where the gold is. One, two, three, one. Good spot. They walked two. right past it. Wait, two. Dude, they all walked right past this thing. They're they're sleeping on Tyler Zeman's bro, ability. I told you, it's a feel thing, bro. They said we're never gonna find the egg, which means we're gonna find the egg. That's what. That's what. Did I you check on top? I check on top. That's good. It's that's a that's a great call, right? Except. The problem is, is I'm like five four. There's nothing up there. <laughs> Are you allowed to call for uh, all the assistance? We're cooked. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> there it <goes>. That's one. <clears throat> Try not to open every door and crevice in here. Well, we're still burning. Oh, second small light. Here we go. That's two. Three. Long game, baby. Long game. Want to make sure I don't leave any obvious ones. Got to think this through here, because this room is big. <clears throat> I think it might be time to head out. I think so too. Oh. Hit okay. See what happens. Four. Okay. That's why you always look again, huh? What's our game plan here, buddy? They say we're going to Yellow Jacket. They are available at that point. They are? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yep, got one. Easy. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Easy money in the trash, no? Over here? Oh, that would have been a great high spot, dude. I don't know why they didn't do that. That's foolish, foolish. Oh my gosh, so much clutter. Holy cow, I can't even see anything. Oh my gosh. Yes, the freshly Josh Moore in my sweatshirt. That was awesome. It was nice, by the way. Oh boy, I can't even see anything. Can't find nothing. Oh. What? I'm invading Seth's private area. Oh, that was it. Okay, that's locked. Man, I have no luck here. I have no luck. Here's one right here, by the way. Take a quick look in here. Um, just cause, you know. They said it's impossible. Impossible to find. I don't believe. Anything's impossible. Um, shout out to my cameraman, Cool Keller, behind me. These desks are locked. They're lucky. Goon leg not there. Hello, brother. <laughs> I, I, I definitely see one in this room, though. They think they're sneaky. I see one in this room, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't done looking. You don't I'm all good. But they're not going to go straight for the golden egg like I am. I, I think I understand. Where a good placement for this egg could be. Go in there, brothers. Goofy, goofy. What we say? Ten minutes, huh? Ten minutes? Give me that. What's this worth, huh? Two. Two. Boom. What's up? My name's Dean. <laughs> We're just wrapping this up. You might need me for storage. It's like a sonar, bro. You just kind of, you just kind of. So it's, oh, right to that. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a hint, bro. I saw, I saw a few up there. Really, bro? That's funny, bro. Yeah, I, I saw a few up there. How nice of you to come at. I already looked there. Oh, that's funny. Good. Six. <laughs> yeah. They're in the studio too. They're in the studio. They're in the studio. Okay, I see one already. I see two. 
Oh, yeah. oh he's on the hunt. This is great, huh? He's getting there. How about this? I've, I've only been playing small ones, and this is crazy. Oh, it's a big one? Ooh, it's baby. a big one, baby. That's two points. Oh, man. Where do we go next? We got to find that golden one, though. Yeah, we do. Where do you think it is? Oh, well, you know where it is. I don't, actually. They they re oh, it. They re it. Ooh, that's a good idea. Smart, smart. Hey, sorry to bug you. Oh, man. Five bucks. Tell me where the golden egg is. Can I see the five bucks first? No. Hey, guest appearance, you got any word? Who do you think is going to win? Uh, I think Dean's going to win. He looks like he's really looking tough here. Uh, he, he's really bound to get the golden egg, you know. Just It shows that ambition. He's willing to fork over $5 to hear where it's at, but I need to know where my money's at before I guarantee a, a shot at a golden egg. So I know how valuable it is. And, uh, yeah, Wh whoever gets the golden egg, I think, is going to end up winning this whole thing because... You know, from what I've heard, it's like 50-ish eggs, so that golden egg's worth five points. It's going to be big. Oh, I only believe I see one in here. Thank you for the uh, great kind words, Logan. Okay. Most of the people that hit these eggs were freshmen or sophomores. I've been around the block, okay? I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. We are partners. I've been around the block. I know a thing or two. See that guy right there? How cool would it be if there was a dollar in there? <laughs> Nine. Really cool. That'd be cool if there's a dollar in there. There's... Just making sure. Just making sure. Tyler and Aaron can see above it. I cannot. <clears throat> All right. I time to head out? Yeah, I think it's time to head out because I think he got all the other spots. We got nine eggs through two rooms. I may have all small ones, but again, we're thinking long game. Seven minutes. Seven minutes remaining. Uh -oh. He's got to opt out. Dang, dang. Are they in this room? No. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, my ankle. Oh, I missed that. I'm hurting. Oh, that kind of hurts. Check every massive thing. It's a <laughs> you, know, you know what though? That was a whole place. That was a big egg too. Wait, that's not a song. Just for a second. Hey Steven, you missed one, buddy. Huh? You missed one on the door handle. Nice job. Hey buddy. Hey, thanks, buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's why I'm that's why I'm walking right now. Jeep for golden egg. Where are these eggs? Yeah, I see, I see, I see Logan and Diana talking up in there. I think that I think it might be in there somewhere. Uh, what was that? What? I didn't say anything. Hmm. Let's just look around. I don't know what to tell you. Five minutes. Five minutes and thirty seconds. <laughs> Is that all? I got seven. That's why I'm walking, bro. Uh, oh, oh man. Man. Brent and I. Oh. Studio two. Yes, studio as well. Oh, oh, I can't, can't, can't land that. Oh my god. Let's go, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm an excellent finder of things. <laughs> oh, things. I told you. I told you. Look, look. I told you. 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 There we go. Big one. That's a big one. That's two right there. Oh, how'd no one look in here? That's an easy one. That's easy two points. We're finding the big kahunas. That's all that matters. We're looking for the big kahunas. <laughs> like I said, bro, I really do feel like MJ. When I get in the lane, it's over. I just glide. Missed one, Spose. Spose, don't count your eggs before they hatch. Hey, buddy, how about you focus on your own game? Some of these, see, some of my competitors feel, fail to remember. They need to focus on their own game, not mine. Because I'm A-OK. -okay. 4-15. Okay.
kind of went places where people did not. You gotta, look, you gotta remember, you gotta look high, you gotta look low. Think legit. Oh! <laughs> on his head. <laughs> Are we just continuing on? Um. Here's here's a suggestion. Why don't we dig in trash? Are we are we dump dumpster divers? Dumpster divers. Oh. Heck yeah. Is that a belt? Oh. I hope, you, of, uh, I hope you touch a tissue or something. Wow, this is like this is a lot. I think there are three minutes. Few, three minutes. A few sharp objects in here too. Hello, oh. Jam. Hey, Am I the first one in here? You are not. Ah, uh, that's tragic. That's all I will say. Now, I don't want to dig through your stuff. I assume they didn't go too, too deep. That's for you to I assume they put me. one in there. That'd be cool if they put one in here. Why would they put something... I really don't feel like going to the real all day. Has the gold been found? No. It has not been found. Now, Dean was in here. Dean was in here already. I know. I will tell you that much. I don't He's mean, not feeling great. There's a good chance he probably didn't find it. Three minutes. Whoa! Hey! 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 Whoa! Hey. Whoa! You whoa, keep whoa, your heads whoa, whoa, under what? your own basket, buddy. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Stop reaching. Stop reaching. Last time I checked, his candy and food stash was yeah, well packed together. Oh wow! It's a whole. Hello. I think you're late. Am I though? 2.30. 2.30 left. Oh wow, it's a whole party in here. All the surgers are in here. Hey buddy! Hey! How do you like it? Exactly. Go ahead, have the one point. You're doing hard work? Yeah, I'm prepping for a softball. Apparently they need someone to come to Chatham with the softball team. And so that's why I'm going tomorrow. I'll be paid for it. Here we go. D was the first person in here. You can't or say stop it. Andrew Price, if you just take a look there. He says they'll never find it. He, he knows where I put it at. Uh, by the way, I am the one that placed the golden egg. So if you're willing to fork over a hefty amount of dollars, I will tell you where <laughs> it is you forked at. over? I am that guy. Dean said $5. I got so five. I, I told mm. him that I, I wasn't going to give it to him. I don't even know if it's worth it, honestly. I mean, just slip your pocket. Five. Huh? Is that hey. in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> right, are you sure? Uh, I'm in at 28. Alright, check the boxes. Check the boxes. So you're just like, crap, so we're camping the boxes now. We're not moving. Yep. We're not. Alright, buddy, be oh. shameless. Sure, share fell over. Mm -hmm. That's funny, right there. <laughs> there it is. That's a golden egg. Oh, that's the golden egg pool. Oh my goodness. Oh, this guy got gold. Hey, this guy got gold. Ryan's already given up. We got a minute left, bro? Yeah. This guy's giving up. Uh, anger. 25 seconds. 25 seconds. I think it's safe to say that uh, Tyler Zeman might have won this, but it was a lot of fun to play. I'll be real with you. It was a lot of fun to play. I as well think that there's no other eggs left in here. So we're gonna dismiss ourselves. That's not a buzz. That's just the greatest go horn of all time, baby. Oh my gosh. And the Creighton Blue Jays logo. That's funny. Did you leave I, Let's go back to the studio. It's funny. Hello everybody, welcome back into the studio as we officially wrapped up our Easter egg hunt. Now gentlemen, before we came into the studio and sat down, we did do a count of all of our eggs and who has what. So we'll have a bit of an easier transition, but before we get into counting, any last minute thoughts? Very quick, brief thoughts. I think Tyler Zeman somehow. cheated. You think Tyler Zeman cheated? I didn't cheat, it's all on camera. All I on found camera. them fair and square. I will say this though, shout out Seth. And shout out Benny. This was a great idea. I did I like the idea. I very much appreciate them asking me to participate in this because I had a blast. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Awesome. Well, I'll be a Debbie Downer. I didn't. 
Um, he found the golden egg. I didn't. So take that with a grain of salt, however you want. So the the golden egg wasn't as well hidden as I thought it was going to be because we were told we were never going to find it. Meanwhile, Tyler and I were in the right spot. Well played by Tyler. Boxed me out. Box like a fish. Anywho, two final scores. Starting on the far left, Ryan Martin. What I, is your total amount? I have points? 16 points. 16 points. Mm -hmm. I have 14 eggs, 16 points. I as well fall in that category. I have 14 total points. I didn't count the eggs. I noticed mm -hmm. now I have 14 points. I found a lot of mini eggs. I didn't find a lot of big eggs. That was my biggest downfall. But the clear cut winner, if you couldn't tell, Tyler Zeman, tell, tell him the truth. Um, I had 26 and I found the golden egg. So I had 21 without finding the golden egg, but it was fun. So proud of, proud of you boys, you competed. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner for the 2024 Buzz Easter Egg Hunt, first ever edition, Tyler mm -hmm. Zeman. Now, I, I, I want to say this. I want to say this. You guys got to do it again next year, and somebody needs to beat 26 because... Who do you think you are? What, you said it, it needs to be. It, no, it needs to be beat. You think... You, like, you beat it, Dean. No, I don't want it. to. I, no. Why no. not? They said... I, I, I asked... I had asked specifically if the golden egg was in the ceiling because I was thinking it was by that exit side. Um, that one ceiling? exit side. And... Uh, I was lied to. Dan Daniel Daniel Rogers, Danny Dimes, Danny. better known as here on the fourth floor, told me that it was. I said, "Is it in the ceiling?" He said, "You're on the right track." Now it's in my basket. In a trophy, it's not even close to the, to the ceiling, Dimes. So, uh, <laughs> you can't. Your camera can't reach that. But shout out to Cat for trying to get the camera shot. Unfortunately, that's in an awkward spot. And while we leave you in an awkward spot, we're going to leave you with this. Thank you so much for tuning into this Easter episode of The Buzz. For myself, Brian Martin, and Dean Shazer, Tyler Zeman, we appreciate all you tuning in. For our producer, Seth Adams, and everyone behind the scenes, appreciate your time. We hope you all have a fantastic Easter break. We hope you have a fantastic weekend, fantastic time with your family. We'll see you guys whenever we turn back from break. Have a great one, everybody. This has been a production of Waynesburg Community Television.